What's going on? <clears throat> this is Mr. Rich. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't play. Here's a 1964 no mint mark Jefferson nickel. Um, I'm going down the line. I got a bunch of 64. Very good condition. Here's a 1963. And there's a 1974. Let's see. 86 Denver Mint in immaculate condition. That's a kind of hair on the. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, 1988 uh, Philadelphia. These are just coins I picked up in the last couple days. There's a 60. Let's see. No, so I got a mint mark. Nope. 65. No mint mark. Definitely. It's got some Dublin. And God we trust. <clears throat> 1983 Denver and here we go we got a bicentennial Denver flip her over check her out really great shape there's definitely some doubling in some of the e pluribus unum The A and the M are touching on the America. All right, let's go through the pennies. Uh, found this uh, 1945 San Francisco. 1965 No Mint Mark. 1964 Denver. 1964... Doesn't look like it has a mint mark to me. All right. 1964 Denver. Definitely uh, has some doubling on the Liberty. The 19, the 60 and the 6 and the 4 are askew. Uh, the top edge of the coins clipped off. This looks like a 64. Look at that Liberty. She's just... Uh, slopes off like woo anyway hold on let me get back to her the liberty just is well it's going downhill anyway all right there's another liberty oh wow that one's way wow barely the l is touching the rim of the coin on the liberty that one, I need to get graded. All right, here's the next row. Um, hold on, there's one more 64 right there. Okay, that's a, that's that last one. 1961 Denver Mint. 1961 Denver Mint. Same thing with the Liberty. It's touching the rim of the coin, the L. Same thing with this 61D. 1960 D um very very good condition um I'd say it's uh well the colors on it it's not uncirculated but it's in great condition it's going down here 1980 no mint mark looks like uh if it was 82, it would be the small date, but no. Is there a small date? 1980, no mint mark. There's two of them right here. All right, let's move on down. 1977, no mint mark. That's in almost uncirculated condition. 1979. 1987, no mint mark. 
Let's go on down here. I got two more. 1985 Denver. And a 1984. That one is, I would say, on the closer to the uncirculated than circulated condition. Anyway, guys, this is just a little uh, change haul from uh, the last few days. I like these 64. Uh, all these are 64 nickels, except for a, a couple here at the bottom. I got an 89. I'll zoom in. Go over these one more time. Just the nickels, and then we'll stop the video. All right, no mint mark. 64. Great condition. 1964, no mint mark. Decent condition. 60. It's 1963. In really good condition. Got a 1974 in excellent condition. Is that a piece of hair on that? Or is that just, is that a crack? What is that? Okay, that. Let me see something. Okay, yeah, that's a eyelash. I know I was. Going, okay, it's a 1986. It's in beautiful condition. It has doubling on it. It's a Denver. And then a 1988 Philadelphia. Met Mark. And uh, in God We Trust. Got some issues there with some doubling. You can see the Liberty where you almost your bare eye, the doubling there. Anyway, guys, uh, and of course the Bicentennial, I need to clean or not, I'm not going to clean it with any chemicals, but I'm going to definitely take some, just a little water and maybe a little soft bristle toothbrush and get that little bit of dirt off of it. But anyway, um, all these 1964s, um, I've got a row of, i got a row that are all, uh, either no mint marks or Denver's that are, I would say, noteworthy. See the four, top of that four is clipped off. We got 61, 61, Denver, Denver, 1960, D, that one's in really good condition, almost uncirculated condition, and these two 1980s, uh, I'd like someone's opinion on those, those look is there a small 19, a 1980 small date? And then I got an almost uncirculate 1977. I would say that's almost uncirculated condition. And 79, 87, almost uncirculated. A 1985, almost uncirculated as well as this 84 no mint mark anyway i hope you guys have a great wonderful evening and there's that little piece of rock uh, or i want to say jade but i my luck i'm calling it the wrong thing but anyway uh hope everyone's having a great day i just want to go through these little this uh this uh, little bit of time I've had to dig through some pennies and pick out some of the good ones. And anyway, these six 1961D, 61D, 
61D, and then I have a whole row of 1964s with half of them don't have mint marks, the other half are Denver. And oh, there's a 65, I got snuck in there somehow. But that 1945 Wheat Penny, that's another one for the collection. I got one that's just absolutely um, um, in almost uncirculated condition. This one, not so much. But it's a Wheat Penny nonetheless, and I'll take it. Anyway, guys, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.